Yo, what is up guys? James here with another awesome Battlefield 1 video and today I'm bringing you everyone's favorite gun, the Lawrence of Arabia's SMLE. This bolt action rifle is badass. Let me start off with that because I am addicted to using this gun along with the German infantry uh, bolt action. And I don't know what it is about this game, but it has made bolt action rifles for me absolutely satisfying. It's the most enjoyable feeling to get a perfect headshot on somebody when they're 400 meters away and you can just barely see them with your crosshairs. This, these type of guns in this game for Battlefield 1 are extremely satisfying when you get kills with them. Sniping is fun, but when you can hit somebody with these, it's super, super enjoyable. And um, as you guys can see, we're playing on uh, Suez. I think that's what it is, not Suez. I, I keep wanting to say Suez Canal. But I think it's just Suez. Um, this map is really fun. I have some of my best gameplays on this map. Um, and what I've noticed is that depending on which side you start on, you can kind of get screwed over. Um, especially if you the side that you'll see us uh, eventually get to is the side that is really bad. So if you spawn on, um, I forgot what team I was. Let me see. I think I was on the British Empire. I'm not sure. But I think on the Ottoman Empire side, that side is the worst side to spawn on. Um, or actually, flip that, flip that around, flip that around. British Empire is the worst side to spawn on. Ottoman Empire is the best side to sp uh, spawn on, because you just get screwed over with all those buildings on the other side. I mean, both sides do have buildings, but I feel like the British Empire side gets screwed over really easy uh, from all the games that I've played on this map. But yeah, like I was saying. This gun is extremely enjoyable, and I apologize for the audio in this first uh, first section of the video because I just had some issues with it. And in the second session, um, you should be able to hear some more of these satisfying uh, bolt action animations and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, but as I was saying, these bolt actions are really fun to use. I can't stop using it. And um, along with everybody that had early access, everyone has this gun. So everybody was using this. Like I was getting killed nonstop by uh, this bolt action. But um, one of my favorite things to do on this map is to just go in with a scout class, and because it's so close quarters and packed, you almost can't use a sniper uh, in the buildings. So it's good to use these bolt actions. But if you do want to use a sniper, the sand dunes are perfect. Um, besides being picked off pretty easy, uh, they're perfect for sniping. But my favorite thing to do on this map in the close quarters is play a scout, get a bolt action. And what you want to do, which a lot of people don't do, which is really frustrating, is you want to use your flare gun. The flare gun is perfect for this close quarters action. You want to take your flare gun, you want to shoot it around here. And when you do that, you'll be able to see everybody on an, uh, every enemy within, I think, like a 75 meter radius all the way around. So... Uh, or diam what's the diameter? Yeah, um, back in trigonometry. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's the best thing you can do. That's a really quick tip on this map. When you're in close quarters, you want to use a flare gun. The flare gun is going to help you out. It's going to act as a UAV for at least I think 25 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. And um, it's really frustrating this game's teamwork. I feel like nobody, although this game is essential to use teamwork, nobody cares. Like nobody's going to revive you barely anybody resupplies you um, and there's just a whole bunch of different factors in this game where people need to start using teamwork more but um, I'm a little off topic but I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the bolt actions if you did make sure you leave a like down below comment rate and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video shots uh, for the most part that's what I noticed when I started dying after I used about 20 shots then I started dying but um, because I was running out of ammo so much I ended up just switching over to cable and you'll see in a second that cavalry guy got hit like about